In this session, we're going to go ahead and start working with brushes, and we're going to create a real nice high-end look here, working with some of the shape brushes, and these are really kind of set up to follow the MMA look or the MMA design, and it's all vector, very easy to color separate. So to get started here, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll just go ahead and turn off this layer here that has those elements in it, and we'll create a new layer. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to start working with some shapes. This will be layer 18 underneath the chopper design. So I'm going to start working with some shape brushes here. So I'll go to my illustrator brushes. I'm going to go to my shapes. Then I'm going to go to cracked shapes. Then I'll go ahead and select this brush here. Go ahead and come over here and I'll start shaping here with the brush. And I'll just kind of bring this out this way and then we'll come over this way and we'll start swooping down that way. Just like that right there. Now that came out not really where I wanted it to. So I can just hit Control Z and redo that and I'll just come over here and we'll go ahead and swoop out this way and come right down this way and that's where we want to be now looking at the size of the brush I can change that I'll go ahead down here to 0.75 right there and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this node here and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to shape this actually anchor points not nodes but we'll bring this down this way here and then we'll shape this over this way here and I can hit control Z there and I can bring this over right about there. I'm going to get the same brush and then I'll just left click, hold down and kind of follow the same path just like that. I'm going to hit control Z here. Left click, hold down and kind of follow the same path. And there we've got our second stroke. And I'll go ahead and click here. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a couple nodes here. Get rid of this one here. And is there another one there? I think I'll go ahead and get rid, get rid of this one here also. Go ahead and shape this so that it flows with the other stroke that's here. Then I want to go ahead and get one more. And I'm just going to put that one right here and bring it down this way. Now I'll just go ahead and grab that. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off here, this layer here, and I'll just take this stroke that I just created and bring that over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and tweak that just a little bit so that it flows right up into here. And I'm going to arch that out a little bit more. Just about there. And actually, right about here. I'm going to go ahead and just adjust this a little bit just so it's not so sharp there. There we go. Now that's where I want to be with that one. Go ahead and turn this back on and then I'm going to bring a couple more down this way. And for these ones I'll go ahead and I'll start up here and I'll left click and bring them down this way. And that I could go with that look right there. Let me see how that's going to look. That might be a little bit too heavy but let me go ahead and bring this down again and see how that looks. I want to go ahead and just adjust this here. I want to get rid of these two nodes here that laid down. And bring this in. Form it out that way. Now that looks kind of interesting. You know, you can look at these and make judgment calls and stuff, and having that look come in that way could work. Let me see here. Be built off like that. And then if I had another one, go ahead and click off here. And then the other one I go this way with. And I got the wrong brush. I want to hit Control Z and make sure we've got the right brush here. Actually, I'll do it on this side. So I'll go up the other way on this side. And that's going to make a pretty interesting look. So I'll go ahead and follow with that. I'm going to click here, click on my brush, get the direct select tool here, and we'll go ahead and move this over here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this node here. And we'll bring and arch this up. Now this is going to need some adjustment here now because it's gone down to here. And we'll go ahead and arch this a little bit here. And you can see that look being built into the design right there from all those shapes. 
And if you look on the MMA shirts, that's kind of what you see is you see these like tribal stone shapes going on here. And I'm just going to tweak this in just a little bit here, but I'll be happy with that where it's at right there. Really different look going on there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off here, and then I'll go ahead and select all of these. Now, before I get all of these selected, first let's make sure we got all of them. I got everything but the one down here in the bottom. I want to go ahead and duplicate these. Now, I'm going to run a reflect on these, but you'll notice something will happen. So I'm just to, just to show you this here, I'm going to go ahead and reflect this and select OK. And you notice what happened is my brush has changed. So what you want to do, I'll hit Control-Z before that, just go to Object. I'll go to Expand Appearance. And then I'll go to Object, Transform, and Reflect. And select OK. Now here's a real different look set up here with these shapes as the backdrop of this design. And I'll go ahead and turn the bike back on here. Now that starts to look pretty interesting there. It gets you a real nice look on your design. We set this up, you know, working in just a few minutes. Um, with that in there, what I want to do is go ahead and make sure I got everything all set up correctly here. I think I got everything there. Yep. Yeah. So what I want to do here What I want to do here is just go ahead and make sure I've got everything put together. So I'll go to Object, and I'll group this, and I'll just eyeball this for now. I'll just zoom in here and just make sure that we're aligned here at the bottom. And I'll go ahead and zoom back out, and I'll go ahead and turn on my chopper there. Now at this point, what I want to do is add some distress to this, just to kind of work with the design and and actually, I could take my biker here, and I can move him down just a bit, just to see how that's going to look. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to go with some distress down around behind here. Now, this is all set up on layer 18. I'm going to layer 11 here, and I'll drop a new layer in there. That'll be layer 19. I'm going to go to my brushes, and I'm going to go to the illustrator brushes, and I'm going to go to my distress grunge, and I'm going to go to twisted grunge. And I'm going to grab this brush here, but I don't want to have anything selected when I select the brush. I'm going to go ahead and get my brush here. And I'm going to change my garment from the dark garment to the light garment just so I can see what I'm doing with this grunge stroke. And I'm just going to go ahead. I'll probably start like right up in here. Just lay that down and bring that in this way. And I'll do some more of the same here. And I'll go ahead and zoom in so we can see this here. And I'll probably do that one more time there. And I'll probably also do some coming down here off the side, right in there, and the same thing here, right down along the side, like that, just to get a lot of that effect in there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Then I'm going to go here, and I'm on layer 19. I'll go ahead and expand that. Actually, I'll just go ahead and click select everything here. And I'll just go to Object and select Expand appearance and I'll come over here and give this a somewhat lighter dark gray fill just to be an offset in the background of the darker garment. And I'll go ahead and select and turn that on, turn off the white. Go ahead and scroll up here, turn the chopper design back on. Go ahead and click off and you can see the look of that effect. Now working on this one of the things that you can do is you can select these and there's another tool over here called the Warp Tool that I like to use very often to shape my brushes after I have expanded them. So I'll go ahead and set that up, and I'll double-click here. And I want to make sure I turn off deal and Detail and Simplicity so I preserve the integrity of the graphic. Go over here, and I'll hold down Alt, start making this a little bit bigger, and I can start to come over here and actually push this effect into a better shape or form along with my design just like that and then I'll go ahead and click off here and then we'll go ahead and we'll zoom out Alt, and we could add some more stuff to this I could go in and add some more design effects to it 
but you can see how easily I went through and set this up with a very nice look here just literally in a matter of minutes. We've got a really nice high-end look that complements the high-end nature of the very design that we've set up here. So for this design we'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.